Hello everybody! Today I'm going to tell you some interesting things about the letters of the Russian alphabet. So first of all I will tell you what are the five B's of the Russian alphabet and then I will tell you what is a ship letter, a chair letter and a bark letter. Do we really have five B's? And all those other strange letters? You will get to know if you watch till the end of the video. I will start with a small story. When my boyfriend told me that he wanted to learn Russian, I was quite surprised, but also proud of him. Uh, because if you probably heard that uh, Russian is not the easiest language to learn. Actually, in the internet, uh, you can find quite a widespread classification of languages according to how difficult or easy it is to learn uh, each language for an English-speaking person. And there are four groups in uh, this classification. Do you know in which group is Russian? Uh, in which group is your language? I will tell you something about this system. So in the first group you will find um, Dutch, Italian, uh, Spanish, Portuguese, French and some other languages. The second group is quite unique. There is only German. Uh, and in the third group there is Russian, Armenian, Czech, Polish, Bulgarian and many many other languages. And in the fourth group um, you will find Chinese, Japanese, Korean and Arabic languages. So actually uh, he's going to learn not the most difficult language but it will be quite tough I guess. So learning Russian. Our first thought was where to start? I actually had no idea. I never taught Russian myself. But then we randomly decided why not to start with learning letters? That's supposed to be fun and also useful and efficient for learning language because when you can read and write some words that's really good. So we just started with letters. Uh, but then the first difficulties came. First of all, alphabet. You may know that we in Russia use the Kirillian alphabet. Yeah, this is how it looks like, not the Latin one. That means that you need to learn new letters. Not all of them will be completely new, but some of them can be quite confusing. Uh, people quite often ask me if that's difficult to switch between Korean and Latin alphabet for me in personal and other Russian people. But you probably know answer to that. You can learn to do that quite fast. I should also mention that we've learned only block letters. This is how they look like. The thing is, handwritten style is more difficult to learn and the letters are quite different. I will show you an example. This is the text in a block letters and this is exactly the same text in a handwritten style. Yeah, this is my handwriting. So this one is more difficult to read and to distinguish the signs is more difficult. I will give you a classic example of the Russian word that illustrates how difficult it is sometimes to read a handwritten style. The word is Shishka. Block letters, handwritten style. See, it's quite difficult to understand where one symbol starts and the other one ends. So my advice to you, start with block letters. So back to our story. We were in Spain in the train from Granada to Sevilla, both breathtaking cities, and there was our first lesson. I still remember it so good. So uh, I wrote down all the letters with examples and my boyfriend was just looking over them. And then he suddenly excla exclaimed, you have five B's in your alphabet. And I was like, what? It's impossible. It's just impossible. And he was like, no, no, look here. This one is our big B. This one is our small B. This one is our small B with a roof. This one is our small B with a kind of shifted roof. And this one is our small B with an extra stick. I was just like, actually that looks like that. For sure they're not five Bs, but from the perspective of the person who uses Latin alphabet, they look like kind of five Bs. 
So now we'll explain you those letters because actually they can look like these different kinds of base, but they are different letters for sure. So the first one, this one, is the only actual B. At least it sounds as B. So the example word can be here Borsh. So Borsh is a typical Russian rat soup. By the way, if you want a recipe, write in the comments and I can share my recipe with you. Uh, the next letter, this one, though it looks like a capital English B, is pronounced as V, so as in my name, Valeria. So let's go further. It's a bit more tricky here, but you can do that. So the next letter is the small B with a stick next to it. Uh, this one is quite difficult to pronounce for a lot of foreign people. The letter is U and the example word can be Mui. Can you pronounce that? Ui. If you can't pronounce that, I have a nice tip for you. Uh, one girl from America told me that. She was learning Russian and her teacher in America told her that. And I really like this story. So, you know that summarize when they did something really bad um, or they betrayed somebody, something like this. I don't know for sure. They should uh, just take this word and kill themselves like this. So now imagine you're a samurai, you did something really bad and the only thing for you to do is to kill like this with a sword. That's quite brutal, I know, but for the sake of an example, that's a good one. So you're taking this word and you're just like this. Yeah, something like this. So the, the sound then will be quite similar. So you can try that. The next letter is this one. This is actually the soft sign. So you can soften the consonant with the special vowel or you can use this letter. Let's look at some examples. I have here two words that are quite similar to English ones. So probably you will understand what they mean. So sol, do you know what is that? That's salt. Look at the end, sol. It's not sol, it's sol, l. The consonant is soft. Uh, and the next one is roll. Roll. So do you know what is that? That's roll. And also the end consonant is soft. L. It's roll, not roll. And the last V to discover today is actually a hard sign. Yeah, we have a soft sign and a hard sign. Probably a hard sign can be even more tricky to understand, but anyway, it's an interesting one. So uh, the hard sign helps to make the preceding consonant hard even though a following vowel is supposed to make it soft. That sounds quite confusing, but I will show you an example and you will understand it. So the example word here will be abiatie, so hug. Uh, and look at the beginning of the word, abiatie. Uh, the letter ya, this one, supposed to make the previous uh, letter softer. So it would be abetie, abetie. But because we have a hard sign, it makes it not soft. The B remains hard, abetie. That's probably also not a big difference for you. But anyway, now you know about the hard and soft signs. So this is a story of the five Bs of the Russian alphabet. From that day, my husband tells this story to all his friends and I actually do the same because it's quite an interesting observation. So what about all other strange letters that I told you about? Actually, this video becomes quite long, so I decided to make another one where I will tell you about a cheer letter, ship letter and a bark letter. So if you're interested, subscribe and watch my next video. And for sure, learn languages and see you soon.